What's up? Welcome back to Cyrus King Show. In this segment, it's going to be very, I, I consider this an important segment um, for a lot of people. A lot of people who do spiritual, who try to do spiritual work, especially from the indigenous side, particularly the African black side, um, you kind of hear reference of ancestors a lot. And that's to no surprise in Africa, almost every single, I mean, literally every single system that was before Christianity, um, they all dealt with ancestors, all of them. Now, they might have different degrees, like you, you might go to the, the Bantu Congo systems, and they might have more animism or more animal spirits and more nature spirits than if you go to like to, to West Africa, uh, those systems might have more humocentric forces um, that eventually people like would call Loa or Orisha, right? You know, um, and you go to East Africa, it, it would, I mean, it depends where, but like, you know, pre-Islam, pre-Christianity, you, you kind of deal with Zaz and, you know, that's just kind of related to the same Islamic spirits that the Arabs worship before Islam. So you, but even they were the ancestors, right? So regardless if you dealt with the, from the East, kind of Arabian affiliated spirits, they still dealt with ancestors. You go to Congo, you know, the Bantu peoples, they definitely have ancestors as well as a kind of more shamanistic feel. And then that's a, no question you go to South Africa and with Songoma, you definitely get a kind of shamanistic style system, but ancestors again. So it's no surprise that people would say ancestors. Here's the problem though. Okay, there's making offerings to them, right? Feeding them. Okay, get that. But then it's like, Using them in your magic or using them, I guess, in your spiritual development. And I feel that when people say ancestors, they stay in preschool, kindergarten, first grade, second grade. You know how you know that? You know how you know that? Easy, simple way. They say ancestors. Which ancestors are you talking about? Your great grandmother? Your great 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 grandmother? Which ancestors are you talking about? Talking about ancestors from a thousand years ago, right? They all exist as individual souls. Which ones are you talking about? And if you're talking about the ancestors from a thousand years ago, right? This, this is the problem. In true spirituality, when you make contact with certain spirits, it's supposed to affect your psychology. Period. That's how you know that you make the that you that's that's how. Real occultists know that they actually made contact, right? It's not the only way, but it's definitely way. So meaning, if you make something up in your mind, like when, when you have all these Anunnaki worshippers, oh, Anunnaki, Anunnaki, that does not affect their personality at all. Not really, right? <laughs> not really, like, like you can't even say, like spirits, they all come from, a, especially if, you, if they're kind of more humanized, they all kind of come from a culture, a style, even even a, even a certain energy frequency. So, if you make contact with that, so it, it, for so for instance, if you're in America, and let's say you do Efo, and you do it the proper way, right? There's almost no question a person doing Efo in America, black person, let's say doing Efo in America, and you, you do the proper way, you reconnect those spirits. It kind of makes you proud to be African. It's very weird that you be like. I'm doing Ifa, and I'm not African, I'm, I'm a Native American. Now, I've seen that before, some people do it before. Well, guess what? They're not usually contacting all Ishas. They just think they are. They're giving the offerings, and that's it. <laughs> like, like, they're not really contacting them. Like, when those spirits come into your space, there's a proudness that comes in from that. And a, and a deeper understanding of the fact that you only been... Let's just say, for this example, African American for 400 years. Like, your lineage could have came back 2,000 years ago. But, like anything else in the spiritual world, you can make stuff up in your mind. And unfortunately, 8 out of 10 people are making stuff up in their mind. Hence why regular people see them and they think they're crazy or they sound crazy. Or they, or they can't be grounded. Because don't just say answers. What, is, what does it mean? In fact, even when some people say, we didn't come from animals, we were never... You know, people say monkeys, it's not a monkey. We have the same ancestors. We're humans are primates. We have the same ancestors. So, so it's kind of like somebody in between, right? That's not true. We didn't come from that. Playboy. Playboy. 
honey girl, baby girl, whatever you want to call yourself with the females, right? Um, if you make contact with ancestors and you go back further enough, you see animals. Yeah, you do. That's f without question. You see that. Sorry, I know it's, and again, that's why I'm asking. How far back are you going? And it's ideal, you're supposed to go back to the first ancestor. When you go to the Bible and they say Adam and Eve, the first ancestors, that's what they mean. If you're doing ancestors to worship, you're supposed to go back to the first. Or at least go back further than three, 400 years ago. This is the problem. People just use it as like this catchphrase. And, and half the people using it are scared of magic anyway. That's why some of y'all get mad at me. Some of y'all get mad at me when I'm like, yo, you got to pick your game up. <laughs> like, you're not supposed to stay in the same level of magic like forever. Like the same level. Like, it's, like it doesn't change. Like chakras, you know, I'm a Ricky healer, you know, and then, and then I just say random, I'm going to, in order for the, you know, I'm, I get praise to ancestors. Which ones? Do you know how deep that goes? Everyone's family's not created equal, but some families go back thousands of years easy. Easy. And the ones that don't is because, because, and that's another thing where I'm going to close this video out, where then you have the flip side of this. Because remember, from the Aboriginal Australia, Native Americans, North South America to the Africans, even the Europeans before Christianity. Like, like ancestor thing, ancestor communication, I don't like to say worship, ancestor science was a thing that almost all cultures practiced. Right? Eventually, when that started to erode, and then that, you can't just blame Christianity, even the East. A lot of the Eastern lineages now, when the concept of marriage eroded, and they looked at marriage as something that was a detriment to spirituality, and having kids was detriment to spirituality, obviously that weakened the ancestral lineages. That type of stuff wouldn't fly in Africa. So that's why, that's why Africa, forget about who was the first race. When it comes to the ancestors, like that, like that doesn't, it doesn't, like I said, east, west, north, south, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter. Right? Especially in the past, before Islam and Christianity. So, one problem is, on another level, when you're in the physical, you can go into the ancestral plane when you sleep, right? You could. When you're dead, you can't. You, only, you can only stay in the ancestral plane. Okay, what does that mean? Well, in the physical, that means that when, when you're an active witch, an active magician, you actually have more energy. And when you have more energy, again, this is not you guys now. You guys now will stay on chakras all day. You guys will stay on how to fast all day. Like, listen, after four or five years, he's supposed to know how to fast. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be a 15, 20 year, yes, you can add new, you no, know, you could add new techniques, you could add new, you know, styles, dry fasting, all that type of stuff, but that should not be a topic for 20 years. I'm sorry. It shouldn't. Right? So not the way you are now, but in your when you're in your highest state, in the physical, not no smoky shit. They supposed to take orders from you. That's how it was in the past. We direct the answers, not the other way around. Because you know why? This higher plane is the ancestral plane. The ancestral plane is in what some people call the astral plane. What about the planes that's purely mental? And when you're in a plane that's purely mental, you don't need an offering. So for all the, for all the, you know, I, I know it's kind of hard for some people to understand. If you're a spiritualist and you've been practicing for a while, you know, you have whatever name you want to call it. Either you want to call it the astral plane, the plane of more energy. Then you have the mental plane, which is more thought. When you're in the mental plane, you're in a higher state. You don't really need offerings as much. Just saying. So if they're in the ancestral plane, you can have, yes, it's good to have allies and it's good to have extra eyes telling you what's going on in the physical because they can see the physical easier. We can't, it's harder for being in the physical to see the ancestral plane. The ancestral plane can see the physical. So it's like having another set of eyes? Cool. But you should not be running the family like you were on the mental plane, like you're some god. The lower gods, or god, the, the gods are the, with small L's, right? The little gods, they're more on the mental plane. Hence why people think they're gods. And if you get certain ancestors who become exalted, they go there too. But even on a different level. Where if you give them offerings and partnership, that's it. They don't need it. It's different. When you need it, you're using the lower plane. Hence, 
somebody on a lower plane should not be running shit. But it's hard to see that because everyone stays in kindergarten or first grade when it comes to ancestor stuff. So, whatever, whatever you practice, try to take that information and try to go at whatever you practice with some new eyes. Cyrus King, till next time. Peace.